<clears throat> Hello cellos, this is your practice video for March of the Intrepid. Okay, we are in A minor, so you will not use a third finger in this piece on your D string or A string. Just don't do it. Okay? So A minor finger pattern on G all on the tape. Second finger second finger on A string, A, B, C natural, D. Okay. Also on the C string, since you do have one section of that on the C string in this piece, everything will be on the tape as well. Okay. All right. We're going to play through this at a slower tempo first, and then we will look at a couple spots, and then it will be at a Faster tempo, up to tempo, concert tempo. So here is your practice tempo first. One, two, three, four. <laughs>
first thing, just going from the very beginning down to the bottom, the very first thing is going to be the notes that are on the C string starting in measure 21 and then 22, 23, okay? When you go to play on the C string, you will get a better sound if you're actually slightly closer to the fingerboard. Once you're on the C string, okay, a little closer to the bridge should be okay, but there's a special spot on each of your cellos that you have at home where it's going to sound the best. And to get that nice big round sound that a C string has, close to the fingerboard. In addition, if you look, I don't know if I can show this on the video. Let me see. Uh, I don't know if I can. I will rem remind me and I'll show you in class or before school. But if you look at your bow <clears throat> with the bow hair, if you have the bow hair to where it's like almost on the G, the G string, but it's still, it's not, it's on the C string. Okay, if you have it right there, it's gonna make one kind of sound. But if you rock your bow all the way that you can before you touch the bout right here, on the side more of the string, you actually get a nice fuller sound. So, when you play on C, and you just need to do the eighth notes, okay, it needs to be as soft as you can possibly make it, but you still have to have a good sound without it being too growly. Okay, so the best kind of place to do that, I'm trying to get you guys to where you can see that, um, just about maybe an inch underneath the fingerboard, on the side of the string, okay, that's going to be your best sound. In addition, so you're playing along, you're going along on the G, okay, when you need to go to C, you use that elbow power, the arm power, to take your hand there. Do not do this. Do not just reach with your fingers, okay? Do not, this is not what, how you do this. So, when you need to go down, arm. Notice how my arm dropped when I went from here to there, okay? Same thing here. All right, so that's the first thing. The next thing is going to be making sure you have a nice, good in tune melody when it's cello's turn, cello and bass to play the melody at measure 26, 27, okay? It does start on an up bow. Make sure it's C natural, that's second finger in between one and third finger tape, first finger, right there, okay? So, So 34 is where it changes, and you have open A, first finger on D, which is E, hop over, first finger, A, on the G string, okay? Um, for measure 35 and all the parts where you have two notes, you will learn them both. It's the same finger pattern, just on two different strings. You'll know a couple weeks before the concert whether you're going to play the top note or the bottom note. It depends on where you're sitting. There's 12 of you guys depends on where you're sitting. So I played the top notes in the first video. When I play the faster tempo, I will play the lower version. Okay. And then the section that will be a playing test spot, the pickup to measure 47. Okay. I want to go through this slow. C naturals, second fingers.
measure 46 is going to be the same thing as 51. See that? Measure 48 is going to not be the same as 52, but almost. Do you see where it changes? Answer now. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, beat four. Okay, so here's measure 48. Those last two notes, C natural, B. Okay, 52. Oops, sorry. That one's A, B. So you have to make sure you watch these endings of these sections very carefully. Uh, it will help to write in some finger numbers or note names um, as you go through it. All right, I think it is time for our sped up tempo. So I will put the metronome on. This is just right about concert tempo. Okay. Always make sure you're supporting with your knees. Very important. One, two, three, four.